When a massive star dies, it explodes in a supernova of unimaginable violence, an event that should annihilate any nearby planet, sterilizing and pulverizing everything in its path. But in the strangest corners of the cosmos, death isn't always the end. Imagine a world bathed not in the warm light of a sun, but in the rhythmic, lethal pulses of a cosmic beacon, the heartbeat of a stellar corpse. Welcome to the domain of zombie planets. These worlds are the ultimate survivors, planets that somehow endured the hell of their star's supernova and continue to orbit its remains, a pulsar, a neutron star that spins hundreds of times per second and sweeps space with beams of annihilating radiation. Planets like Poltergeist and Phobder, the first exoplanets ever discovered, are rocky worlds caught in a perpetual dance with their dead sun. They have no atmosphere, their surfaces are scorched and eroded by a never-ending wind of high-energy particles, and they are bathed in a ghostly glow of X-rays and gamma rays. There is no day or night, only the constant pulse of radiation. But their existence raises an even deeper question, are they survivors, or are they second-generation worlds? Some scientists believe these planets did not survive the blast, but formed afterward, from the debris and disk of matter left over from the supernova itself. They are worlds born of death, built from the ashes of their former solar system. Whatever their origin, these zombie planets are a testament to the incredible tenacity of the universe, impossible worlds that defy our understanding of life and death on a cosmic scale, forever orbiting the dead heart of their creator.